How to fix this annoying automation glitch. Has this ever happened to you? It's 4 a.m. and you're working hard on a dank beat. And you're like, let me automate this knob. So you create an automation clip and edit it a bit. But then you're like, nah. So you get rid of it. But wait. What is this? To your dismay, to your horror, the knob jumps back into that position you created the automation clip at. Oh, so I'll just delete the automation clip then. That'll fix it. No. Okay then, I'll just right click the knob and unlink any automation. No. Okay, well then I'll just delete FL Studio and burn my laptop. Well, that's one solution, but there's another solution. To do this, go to your browser and go to the current project folder. There should be a little tab to go straight there, but it's also here. Here you'll find all the information of your current project. The samples you're using, the automation clips, the synths and effects you have. So maybe the solution is in the automation folder. This is an automation problem after all. Wrong. What we're looking for is hidden in the pattern folder. Then go into initialized controls and you'll have these things called events. Right click the ones you want to delete and click delete event. There you go. No more will the knob snap back to that one position and you'll be free to continue playing with your knob. This will be the same for every automatable button, slide or knob, be it, be it the channel volume, mixer volume, on off effects, anything really, anything that you can automate, whatever. The more automation clips you have, the more events will show up. But you can also rename the synth or effect to help, the find, to help find automation controls easier.